20 years ago, uh, the economic relations between the United States and Israel were much more one-sided. It was much more investment was flowing in one direction. Uh, there was a lot of uh, product flowing in one direction. And uh, uh, over the last 20 years, with the evolution of um, the high-tech and the innovation industry in, in Israel, and now the relations are much more balanced. In, uh, in fact, uh, we in the Startup Nation Central, we are a nonprofit that, that connects uh, Israeli uh, innovation to the world. We have many, many clients, uh, many partners from the United States. These are banks, financial institutions, insurance companies, uh, healthcare organizations, and, and many others that are coming here to connect to Israeli innovation. And as a result, Israeli innovation is uh, coming to United States solving many problems, whether it's uh, protecting uh, uh, financial institutions and corporates from cyber attacks, whether it's helping uh, uh, healthcare organizations, hospitals to provide better care, uh, both with drugs and with medical equipment, whether it's uh, improving efficiency of financial institutions through fin fintech technology and many others. Um, we uh, also observe Many Israeli companies starting to invest in the United States, whether they establish offices, uh, which bring them uh, to, to closer to markets, as well as, uh, as, well as uh, uh, invest in, uh, in American companies and, and move uh, productions and development uh, and marketing into the U.S., generating thousands of jobs. This is sometimes uh, hidden from the eye, but there are two studies that uh, actually manifest the impact. Both Massachusetts and New Jersey uh, did a study on the effect of Israeli, Israeli um, tech companies on their economy and showed that uh, they generate thousands of jobs and billions of dollars of uh, uh, GDP. In, the, in those states. And these are, these are just two states out of 50. Israel is uh, highly present uh, in uh, New York State, in uh, California, in Arizona, in Missouri, in Illinois, and uh, in a variety of other states. So the impact today of Israeli innovation on the United States economy is quite significant. Israeli companies invest uh, much more heavily in the United States, both in, gener in creating production facilities, creating R&D centers. Uh, today there is a very active scene um, in New York, for example, of um, startups. Uh, many of them are originated in Israel and are expanding in New York. There is even a new university that's been uh, founded in New York City. Uh, uh, it's a collaboration between Cornell University and Technion from Israel. It's going to be new a uh, school of, which will combine the design and technology and media into one, uh, one process. California and Israel signed a MOU uh, that um, actually increases the collaboration between the country and the state, uh, especially in the area of water. Israel is the uh, mo world's most efficient user of water. California is suffering from shortages and droughts and so Israeli technologies and Israeli know-how is helping California to cope with these uh, with these problems. For majority of uh, high-tech companies when a startup uh, founders open a little operation in their garage Israel being a small country they always think about the United States they always think about how the problems and the challenges that that they are solving for the U.S. economy. After that comes Europe and China, etc. But the, their first goal is how to how to address the U.S. Uh, the U.S. challenges, and this is why so many companies, so many Israeli companies, very soon after being established and starting to sell, establish offices and hire people in the United States to actually come and 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 be present uh, quite actively in in, in the in that market.